Tis the season, folks. The holidays are here, and Americans all over the country are soon going to be trampling each other to save a few dollars on whatever they're going to end up throwing in the landfill by next spring. It just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Now, in all seriousness, I'm sure there are a lot of you who are looking to buy something for the photographer in your life, whether that be film or digital, or maybe you want to buy something for yourself. I put together a list of 10 things that I actually see value in and I would recommend. Now, I don't know if all of these are going to be on sale for Black Friday or anything like that. I know a couple of them are, but regardless whether they're on sale or not, they're still products that I recommend, so let's just jump right in. Number one, photo books. I preach this all of the time, but investing in photo books that are going to be full of work that inspires you and actually makes you want to get out and shoot photos in the first place, that can make a big impact. They don't need to be expensive or rare books, they just need to be books full of work that's going to inspire you, and I've done several videos on different books that I recommend, but I'm going to go ahead and link a few down below that I think any photographer would appreciate. Number two, film. If the photographer in your life shoots film, then they absolutely need this, so this is a really easy one. If they already have a preferred film stock that you know about, I would just suggest sticking with that. I don't really recommend taking a gamble on just any random film stock because a lot of photographers kind of have their preference. But if you need a starting point, uh, Kodak's Portra 400, that's probably the best color film that I would recommend just because it's so versatile. Uh, it's just a really good all general purpose kind of film and it's really forgiving as well in terms of, you know, over or under exposure. Uh, Ilford HP5 would be my pick for a black and white film if you need a recommendation for that because it's just tried and true. It pushes really well, but it's just a good all around classic black and white film. Number three, a camera bag. I am a bit of a camera bag hoarder. I have a lot of different camera bags and I use a lot of different ones for different occasions, but I'm going to recommend a specific one today and that's the Brevity Jumper. This is a brand new bag from Brevity and it's a great everyday carry, all purpose kind of camera bag. You can throw a laptop in there, plenty of camera gear, as well as any other just everyday items that you might be carrying. I've been loving this bag. The pre-order price was $99. It regularly retails for $119, but it is actually on sale for $99 dollars for Black Friday. So uh, this is definitely one that I think would apply to a lot of different kinds of photographers depending on what kind of gear they're using. It seems like it could fit a lot of different things. I am going to be doing a full review and giveaway with this bag in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that. But yeah I definitely recommend this one as a gift for somebody. Number four is storage, and this is sort of a two for one here, but I feel like you can never have too much storage. Uh, part one would be the actual device you're recording to, like an SD card. I know that uh, SD cards might seem like the, the socks of the gift for a photographer, but I personally love getting socks. I know I would love getting an SD card as a gift as well, just because you can never have too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to the SD cards down below that I personally use, but I'm also gonna link the hard drive that I use on a daily basis, and that's the Samsung T5 SSD. This is a super portable, super fast SSD drive, and it comes in a few different sizes. I typically use the two terabyte version, but this thing is great. I work off of it every single day. I don't know if it's gonna be on sale. If it is, then you should definitely pick it up. I probably will as well if they're gonna be on sale just because I use it so much. And again, you can never have too much storage. Number five is just sort of a big collection of things to choose from, and that's basically anything from Shoot Film Co. So if the person you're buying for is a film photographer, Shoot Film Co. has plenty of different stuff that they would like. They have everything from shirts and hoodies to hats, stickers, patches, pins, coffee mugs, anything you can think of basically they have something there that kind of celebrates film photography. The owner, Mike Padua, is a really good dude. He's a good friend of mine, and he has a family of his own as well, so supporting small business as a business owner myself, I try to do that as much as I can. But any of these things here from Shoot Film Co. would be great stocking stuffers just because they're such small and affordable items, but still, they're a little bit more thoughtful, and they're something that any film photographer would actually get a kick out of and appreciate. Number six is a multi-tool. So I've done an entire video about this specifically, but I just think having a multi-tool on you is one of the best decisions you can make as a photographer or even filmmaker. Uh, there are a lot of different options out there. I tend to use the Leatherman Wave, but any multi-tool is better than none. The amount of times that this thing has saved me on the job just makes it an absolute essential part to my bag. Number seven is a film case. So these are from Japan Camera Hunter, and I've been using mine for probably around five years or so now, I would say, and they come in both 35 and 120. So this is just a great way to keep the film in your bag organized and not just scattered all over the place. Not much else to say about them, they just work. 
Number eight, a small tripod. This is something that's maybe a little bit more specific than the other items on the list, but still I think it's something that a lot of people could get use out of, especially if you do any kind of vlogging or content creation. I personally use this little Manfrotto tripod for vlogging. It works really great for that, but I've also used it for uh, getting low angles for filming and even photos as well. And it has a little quarter 20 mount on top with an adjustable ball head, adjustable legs. It just works really well for a lot of different things. Things. Maybe you need to put a small light somewhere, whether it be a flash or a video light or a microphone. There's a lot of different things you could do with this thing, and I think just for the size and the price of it, it's a good thing to have in the bag. Even if you only need it in a pinch, it would be good to have it rather than not. I've used the Joby Gorilla Pods before, and I never really liked them. I've had a couple break on me. I've seen the new Switch Pod, which looks pretty good, but that's a pretty specific use. This Manfrotto tripod just seems to be a really good, versatile tripod. Number nine, a pocket notebook. This might not be what you would expect on a list like this, but I personally think that having a pocket notebook on me at all times has been really helpful for writing down ideas for photos, for videos, for this YouTube channel, uh, grocery lists, and other everyday to-do lists, but honestly, it's a big thing for me. Um, I'm always writing things down. I'm always encouraging other people to try it out just because it helps me a lot with mental clarity and actually getting things done. Uh, but if you wanna have it just to write down your exposure and more specific photography things, you can actually pick up one from Shoot Film Co, which I previously mentioned, the Photo Memo. Uh, this is basically a notebook designed just for photographers, so you can write down what film stock you're shooting, what your exposure settings were. I tend to use field notes just because I've used field notes for a long time. I like how simple and basically versatile they are. It's not made just for photography, it's more broad and you can use it for literally anything, but field notes or photo memo, either of those would be a great option. Just having a pocket notebook, it's worth it. Number 10, an instant camera. Um, this is something that I think anybody would have a lot of fun with. I personally use instant cameras for fun and for work as well. If I bring an instant camera on a shoot, especially if I'm working with a family or on a wedding day, people get super excited about it and it's just a really fun interactive way between the photographer and the subject. And uh, there are a couple different options in terms of what camera type and even film type. If the person you're buying for is really, really interested in instant photography and they want something really special, I'd recommend the Polaroid SX70, but if you want something a little bit more affordable and simple to use, especially if you're buying for a younger photographer, uh, the Instax cameras are great as well. So there you go, there are 10 items that I would recommend for the photographer in your life, whether they shoot film or digital. Something here on this list I think would make a great gift for them this holiday season. Links to everything that I've mentioned will be in the description down below. As I mentioned earlier, I don't know if everything is gonna be on sale for Black Friday, but keep an eye out because I'm sure at least some of them will be. I hope that was helpful for you guys and I hope you have a safe and fun holiday season this year with your family. Uh, there will be a new video on Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as always, but that's it for today. So I I want to thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Number two, film. If the photographer in your life shoots film, sh shoots film. God. Number two, film. If the photographer in your life shoots film, and I keep whistling when I say that. If they sh shoot film, you can sh shoot some slide films. Number two, film. If the photographer, <laughs> number two, film. If the photographer in your life shoots, <laughs> number two, film. <laughs> number two is film. If the photographer in your life, <laughs> oh my god.